Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Libra. Thank you Lord God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how the week opens for you Libra. What's going on for Libra? Ooh, the devil card. Make sure that whatever choices you're making, you're making, it's not going to lead you down the road of entrapment, enclosure, uh, over committing, over indulging, overspending. Um, make sure that this is, it says, um, make sure that your choices are not extravagant. Okay. Um, because it's going to, it could lead you to debt. You know, if this is money, um, it could lead you to feeling indebted to another person. Um, also, this could be sex, sexual addiction. This could just be a third party situation. Um, make sure that your choices are not going to get you caught up or bound to something or someone here. Um, the devil energy is not something that just attaches itself to you. It's a choice that you made. And then the, the karmic uh, energy or the toxicity or the addiction then starts so you have to choose wrongly and then there goes the rabbit hole that you fall down so make sure that your choices are aligned with um, positivity radiance light and not negativity um, playfulness addiction uh, toxicity okay could be dealing with the Capricorn altogether uh, make sure that you just don't get your, you don't overcommit too soon, okay? Uh, I don't know why I heard that, okay? Uh, let's see. And what's the external influence? Okay. Six of Swords. So, moving or moving on. Or you have rationalized moving on or moving away or, yeah, um, leaving past uh, or leaving hurt from previous relationships behind. Um, it just makes sense to move on. You, it was an uphill battle, something you were not going to win here. Um, to stay in this would be uh, self-sabotaging, self-sacrificing. This is moving on and leaving that self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging energy behind. So you don't take it with you. It's more so learning the lesson also in the Six of Swords. Moving on to a more peaceful, harmonious, calm state of being also it could be vacation for some of you um maybe you're moving on from toxicity drama uh compulsion over spending over you know just over indulging addiction low vibrational energy i don't know um how is the person that libra is thinking about how are they showing up to the reading how is this person that libra is thinking about showing up to the reading the temperance card Okay, so they're showing up to the reading as the, the, you know, middle ground here. Maybe wanting to salvage the connection. Could be um, Sagittarius or King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, maybe even Cancer. But, um, yeah, they're showing up to wanting to temper the situation. It looks like things got out of control. So somebody's showing up wanting to salvage the connection. Let's look through what happened and pick out what what uh, matters and what we can build upon um someone wants to take the middle ground middle road here somebody wants to have a wealthy uh, marriage connection with you um, or maybe in your surrounding community or group of people there will be a wealthy marriage or connection here um somebody wants to have balance okay or restore balance here uh, because there there was chaos um, that's how your person is showing up here. Uh, the angel, uh, Michael, could be Michael. Some people say it's Gabriel. I don't, Mike, Michael, somebody is trying to heal somebody's um, indecision, uh, instability, um, the friction between the two, okay? Um, somebody wants to show up as masculine or feminine energy so that you kind of, both become the yin and the yang to where it matches it, it meets up um definitely related to the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio so somebody wants to salvage this connection they don't want to just move on 
But it looks like they are moving on mentally, but then they're, they're still here. Interesting. Okay, so the outcome. No, um, that's how the person was uh, showing up. Okay, so um, what's the advice for Libra? Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. The high priestess. Listen to your intuition, Libra. There's a still voice that sits with all of us. If we get quiet enough, if we quiet our lives, we can hear what that voice is trying to tell us. Um, meditation, prayer, get in divine communication, guidance from source. Stay home. I don't know why it says stay home. Okay. Stay, stay home. Uh, information, knowledge is going to come through books. It's going to come through reading. There's a decision that needs to be made. Make sure that you're examining all paperwork, all legal matters, all, uh, thoroughly. Um, yeah. The high priestess here could be. That is your advice. You're not listening to something. You're not doing something. If Libra takes the advice of the cards. <clears throat> if Libra takes the advice of the cards. The hangman. Um, you'll be able to create something else because you'll be able to let something go. You'll be able to sacrifice. You're going to gain enlightenment. If you take advice of the cards, sit quietly, listen to your intuition, you can um, gain enlightenment and then you can release, relinquish, let go of something. You'll also ask yourself the question, why haven't I had what I really want? So you'll, you'll take personal personal responsibility also um you'll be healing okay um he healing in the crown chakra here something comes to you that allows you to uh, to calculate to see it better to to make sense of something that something needs to be released or let go of You only can get this answer or get this this riddle, this mystery solved, this if you sit quietly with yourself and you meditate on what it is you need to know. You got four major arcanas and a five spread, five card spread. So definitely spirit is trying to work with you about something. Mama's boy, healing, growth manhood womanhood balancing out your emotions temperament the explosion that you have does it match the transgression does it match what happened um is is the crime of uh, fitting the punishment i don't know it's something like that a decision will be made justice will prevail okay um the high priest is the hangman. Uh, something you need to release here. I don't know what it is, but you you you'll know if you just sit with yourself and meditate on that question. What do I need to release? Okay, this is your reading, Libra. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you, Libra. Take care.